everyone, it's Joelle and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be using S-Curl to moisturize my hair, use as a leave-in. But of course, before we get started, please don't forget to click that subscribe button down below. And if you're the owner of a business, especially a black-owned business, please send me an email at shermainjoyelle at gmail.com or go ahead and fill out the Google link down below in the description box. But let's get started. If you've been with my channel and if you have seen the history of hairstyles that I've had. I had a jerry curl for years, for years. And everyone knows that when you have a jerry curl, you use what is called S-curl to keep that bad boy hydrated. So I was, so I became interested in seeing how that was going to basically work with just my natural hair. No curly perm or anything, just my natural hair. So while at the store the other day, I went and bought the Luster's S-curl curl activator and I used it on my wash day. I used it in I used it in place of my normal leave-in. Yeah, I had Jerry curls. I think I started getting them in like, I don't even know, like third or fourth grade I started getting them. If I have some pictures, I'm gonna step to the side here. I'm gonna try and find some pictures <laughs> and insert some of them here. But I I started getting them four years. It was kind of like the go-to texturizer hairstyle that my mom was giving me as a kid. And as a kid, I loved it. Did I get teased relentlessly for it? All the time. At sleepovers, I would be called bag head because you know you spray your activator on at night and you would put a plastic baggie on your hair to keep your hair moist <laughs> overnight. Everyone knows the, was it, is it Soul Glow <laughs> commercials or whatever it was. It was something in coming, coming to America with Eddie Murphy. They made a whole Soul Glow. I think it's a Soul Glow. They made a whole joke about it. If you guys have seen my mom's senior portrait that I posted, she had a jerry curl in her senior picture. So we are very familiar <laughs> with the jerry curl in my family. So I thought I would give myself some flashbacks to my childhood and try it on my natural hair to see how it keeps my natural hair moisturized. Obviously I started with a wash day, we shampooed, deep conditioned, and then all I did was just spray it onto each section very thoroughly. It doesn't have as much slip as like some of the other leave-ins that I use. It's just not what I was used to, but I I know that this isn't how it feels. You know, that's not how you determine the moisture of it. It's how it, how it reacts once it's on your hair and your hair dries down. But I sprayed it on, combed it through, and I just left my hair loose. We all know that that's how you guys were gonna see it. We're gonna wanna see it in a kind of wash and go type style. How it makes my natural hair look, how it reacts with my natural hair. I don't have a lot of definition. Uh, I say I'm type 4, but I think it's pretty obvious that I'm majority 4C, 4B in some areas. But I already knew that this wasn't going to give me much definition since leave-ins don't really do that. That's not their job. I don't like using gels on my hair because they flake. So I just use the S-curl all by itself for the moisture aspect. And this was the result right after jumping out of the shower. So let's go to that clip. Okay, so <laughs> I can hardly see right now. So this is what it looks like right out the shower. So I just got out the shower and I will say that it's very nice that it's not dripping. I mean, I know the, the S curl itself says no drip. It means like the product doesn't drip, but I noticed that if I noticed that I don't even have water running down my face. I mean, my hair's damp, but I don't even have water running down my face. Whereas, you know, with other products, if I was just to put the leave in, I have water running down my face, and that's usually the case until I apply a butter to my hair to kind of lock everything in, but no butter this time. So this is it. Oh, out of the shower, it's had maybe just under 10 minutes to kind of dry, and clearly, and you know, after we've, you know, after I come back in like two hours or so, we'll see what it looks like, and it, it'll have some shrinkage, but unstretched, just my natural shrinkage, just comb through. My hair's a lot longer now, so it doesn't really like stand up. And since I wear it in a stretched state, it's kind of been trained now to kind of just start angling downward. So, but yeah, I'll be back in two hours when it's had more time to dry and we'll reassess. Okay, three hours later, <laughs> this is my result. It's still a little damp. You know, my hair takes a while to dry, so I'm not surprised that even three hours later, it's still a little damp, but not too shabby. It feels really soft, obviously. I mean, I know S-Curl is, you know, a hydrating product. I mean, it's meant to help keep your hair hydrated when you have a jerry curl. So <laughs> I'm not surprised 
at the results really, but let me do a turnaround for you. So yeah, just a big, soft, fluffy fro. I don't have any definition. I think, you know, when you have the jerry curl and you have little curlers, that does all that for you. I mean, I think I have a, ti a tiny bit, but this is just, you know, what it usually looks like. It's really soft. I'm interested to see how it's gonna look. So we're going over to a friend's house for the Super Bowl. So I'll try and get some footage when I get back home to see what it looks like for you guys. And when I do, you know, I'll insert that sometime around right here. All right, really quick. So we're back now. We left at like 310, 320, and now it's like, now it's about 930. <laughs> but this is what it looks like. It's fluffy. Still really soft. Not a heavy feel. No residue. So, again, not, not too shabby. You know, just some shrinkage, which is a given. But yeah, still good. S curl still works, look at that. But yeah, I'd like to try this again my next wash day and see how it does with a twist out and I'm sure it'll be just fine. But I am interested to see how that'll go because I would like to finish using up the bottle. So we'll try it out with a twist or excuse me, a braid out. That's what I do is braid out now. And we'll kind of go from there, but I like the results. I love that my hair feels soft, it's not you know, there's not residue, not at least not a whole lot. It has, you know, some residue on my hands, but it's nothing like an oil or anything like that. But I like it. You know, if something only costs, you know, four or five dollars, I'm pretty impressed. But I hope that you guys like it. Let me know if you've tried using S Curl on your natural hair and if you liked it, how you use it to style your hair. But of course, don't forget to click that like button down below. Keep looming, and I'll see you guys in my next video.